Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to use the unique formula with only one criteria. In this video, I'll teach you to do the exact same thing, however, with multiple criteria. So I'm using the exact same data set I used in my previous video. And if you haven't watched that video yet, the link is available in the description box. So uh, this is the same data set I used last time and I demonstrated how to get a list of unique names with one criteria. This formula over here, which is currently also displayed on the screen, demonstrates how you can get a list of unique names with only one criteria. But what if you have more than one criteria? Say you want to get a list of unique names based on a particular role, which are also active. That is, uh, they have a yes in the active column. In order to do that, we just need to make a minor modification to our unique filter formula. So that modification is as follows. So right now, we have a unique formula that filters based on one criteria, that is the role, in this case, the role being actor. Now, I want to add another criteria to that as well. To do that, we have to multiply the criteria by each other. So the first thing I'll do is I'll place the first criteria, that is the role being equal to actor, inside a set of parentheses. So I'll create another set of parentheses over here, and then I will click on the multiplication sign, and I will enter a new set of parentheses. This way, I am multiplying the two criteria by each other. And the second criteria is that the active column, that is column E, is equal to yes. So I will select the relevant range, which is this range over here, and I will put equal sign equals to yes, as so. And as soon as I do that, for what it's equal to, we could either enter it inside double quotations or we can reference another cell. For example, you can write yes or no within different other cells and then reference those cells. The final outcome is going to be exactly the same. And then I will click on enter. And as easy as that, we were able to get a list of names which have a role equal to actor where the actor is active. Now let's do the exact same thing for the director role. So we're going to do the exact same thing. So we will put the first condition in a set of parentheses, the multiplication sign, we'll create another set of parentheses and inside the other set of parentheses, we will put our second condition that is the active field, which is this range over here being equal to uh, yes, which I will place inside double quotations and then I'll click enter. And as easy as that, we were able to use the unique filter formula in order to get unique values with more than one criteria. And the same thing will work if you have even more than two criteria, say two, three, four, or however many criteria that you have in your data set. And that's how it's done. I hope you found this video useful. If yes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my next videos. See you next time. Bye now. Thank <laughs> you.